We did it. 10 years ago, my cholesterol surged after adopting a keto diet, and what started as my personal journey is now a published study unlike any you've ever heard of. We recruited 100 participants who were also on a keto diet with sky-high LDL cholesterol and low risk factors, like me. For reference, when I say their LDL levels were high, I mean it was in the very top 1% of the general population, an average of 254 milligrams per deciliter. They each got one high resolution heart scan known as a CT angiogram, and then a second scan one year later for comparison. This is a widely accepted study design because these high resolution scans easily pick up changes in plaque volume in very short time frames. Okay, so what were the results? Did LDL cholesterol have any association with plaque progression? The answer is no. There was no association between the levels of LDL cholesterol and the progression of plaque, and this even applied to those with the very highest levels of LDL. What is the strongest predictor of the progression of plaque? Existing plaque. We found the amount of plaque in the initial scans were very predictive of future plaque progression. In a nutshell, that plaque begets plaque, but LDL, or ApoB for that matter, does not. For me, this has been truly moving. What started as an obsession over my own lab work has finally culminated in this groundbreaking study. This and our coming studies is in large part thanks to my collaborators and good friends, Nick Norwitz and Adrian Sotomoda. And of course, our principal investigator, Dr. Matthew Budoff at UCLA's Lundquist Institute. The best part, cameras captured every moment of this study and the story behind it. It's all there in our coming documentary, The Cholesterol Code. You can sign up for updates on its release at cholesterolcodemovie.com. And to everybody who has provided their support for this research, thank you. This simply couldn't have happened without you.